Good morning, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lydia Tax. I am a senior product manager within Elsevier. And Anu has asked me to demo the system we use for you to make use of the Finalip agreement that was established between Elsevier and Finalip. This Finalip agreement, providing you are eligible, entitles you to a 50% discount on your APC when publishing gold boxes. In case you have any questions, please type them into the conversation box and I will try to answer them as we go along. I also have Kirsty Driscoll on the phone. She is a product manager on the system I will be showing you. And in case of very detailed questions, Kirsty will come to my rescue. I am presuming that you can all hear me. If you can't, please type it into the conversation box now. You can also all see my screen. If you can't, please let me know. I just tested with Kirsty. You should be able to see my screen. There are two scenarios I would like to talk you through. The first one is the scenario where we have a hybrid title. In other words, this journal publishes both gold open access and subscription articles. You have submitted your article via one of our submission systems, either EES or EVICE. For you, the relevant part is that you will receive an email congratulating you with the fact that the journal accepted your article for publication. In that journal, in that email, you will find a link and that link will get you to this page. You click on the link in the email, it says, please now <clears throat> make your publishing option and finalize everything you would like to finalize. That gets you to this page. On that page, the first question we're going to ask you is, tell us who funded your research. It is not the question, who funds your APC? <clears throat> the question is, who funded your research? We will then ask you to make a selection from quite a long list of funding bodies. And the reason why this is pre-selected is because I went through the workflow first this morning and I had to make some selections. So you are part of a Finnish university research institution and are possibly eligible for this discount. Now the I will get you to the eligible universities. So if you work as a corresponding author at one of these universities, you might be eligible for this discount. You select this option in between. I'm just going to admit more people who are waiting in the lobby. Every time I, the bottom of my screen starts flickering yellow, we know that there are more people waiting. You save and like you, Lydia. If you want me to admit those, I can. I can do that. I think. So. Yeah, perfect. We can ask you to put in grant numbers. That is optional. You don't have to. It's good if you do. You don't have to. Then we explain the open access policy regarding Finland. There are the participating Finnish universities, and there is a link to the Elsevier Finland agreement page. And that you can find over here. This is the agreement page. It will also give you a link to all the lists, all the journals that are part of the Finalip agreement. You need to make your choice. You, as an author, decide whether you want to publish gold open access or whether you want to publish under subscription. That is entirely your choice. For the purpose of this demo, we're going to assume that you want to publish Gold Open Access. You then save and continue. And then we're going to ask you, because you chose Gold Open Access, to choose a user license. Again, this is entirely up to you which user license you select. The CC BY NC and D, which doesn't allow any commercial usage of your content, or the CC BY, 
<clears throat> with whom so it can do virtually everything, also commercial purposes. Okay, for the sake of this, journey, this demo, we're going to say that you select the CC BY 4.0. And then we want you to tell us whether you are the sole author of the art manuscript, whether you sign on behalf of all the co-authors of the manuscript, or um, if you are signing as an authorised representative and on behalf of your employer. You can be the sole author of the manuscript. If that's the case, then you need to tell us where you work. Of course, this is not relevant because we're going to assume that you are a Finnish affiliated author. In this case, you're signing on behalf of all the co-authors. Of course, you're not a US government employee. You are none of the above. So that's the selection you're going to make. And then you save and continue. This is the publishing license agreement. In this, we settle the legal terms between you and Elsevier, between you and the journal. I wish you a lot of good luck reading all of this. If you don't tick this box, you can't continue. So I know you're going to tick this box eventually. So you're going to accept the agreement and then we'll give you a summary page. We review the order. You are a you were funded by a Finnish university or a research institution. You chose to publish Gold Open Access. You chose a CC BY license. And you're stating that you are one author signing on behalf, behalf of all the co-authors of the manuscript. We then, you then click Finish. And then we have an order confirmation. We will then open up the article as Open Access. So the first version within 48 hours will be open access on Science Direct in the journal. Meanwhile, there will be a validation process because you might say that you are part of one of those participating Finnish universities. We will ask the Finnish universities, do you know Dr. So-and-so? Do you know her? Do you know him? Are they eligible under this deal? If that is the case, then we will send you an invoice with a 50% discount on the list price. And on Elsevier.com, you will see a list with all the prices for the articles, Gold Open Access articles. That is one scenario in a hybrid title where we publish both gold and subscription articles. The same goes for an Gold Open Access Journal. Again, the journal accepted your article after submission, after peer review. We'll send you an email saying, congratulations, Dr. So-and-so. We are going to publish your article. Please finalize your publishing options. Again, you will go to the Rights and Access form, Again, we will ask you who funded your research and you will select this one. Say you don't select this one and you say, I received no funding because we just had the other option, the other version. You save and continue. Then you will see no information about the Finilip agreement because you didn't select the Finilip agreement. This is a gold open access journal, so there's only one way out, which is gold open access. So, it was conducted by a Finnish university. Again, you can put in your grant or your contract number. It is optional, it's not compulsory. We save and continue. Then we inform you about the participating Finnish universities. Over here, we also tell you, give you a link to the Elsevier's Philip agreement page over here and on that page again the link for the journals applicable under the agreement. Then you save and continue. As you see there is no other option but Gold Open Access so we don't present you with an option to publish under subscription. You do have an option to select your user license. Again the CC BY NCND or the CC BY. For the sake of this demo you're now going to go for the more restrictive license that 
doesn't allow any commercial entity to do anything with your content. We save and continue. Then again, we're asked about your status. In this case, we've got a rare case where you as a sole author produced it. So you are the sole author of this manuscript. You save and continue. And then again, you need to sign the legal document. You need to say that you've accepted it, that you've read it and that you agree to it. So you agree to the terms of the journal publishing agreement and we accept the agreement. We'll give you an overview page in this open access journal, gold open access journal. So there's only one way out, which is gold open access. And then you place the order. The same thing happens. We will then validate with the Institute you say you are affiliated to, whether they know you, if they know you and they say, yes, this author is eligible for the discount under the Finalib deal, then we will send you a, an invoice with a 50% discount on the list price. And that, dear authors, is the workflow as I wanted to show it to you. Are there any questions? If it's easier for you, you can now unmute and just talk into the microphone and we'll answer, try to answer your questions. It's a bit scary. It's completely silent. Did you all see my screen? Could you all hear me? I need a few responses to be absolutely certain. I heard you, Lydia. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, dear researchers, dear authors, Thank you for participating. I will stop the recording. I will make sure that Anu, our representative at the Helsinki University, receives the recording of this conversation so she can spread it, she can distribute it. And um, thank you very much. <laughs>